This is the easiest and fastest thrift flip ever. And this is a super adorable porch liner. I'm going to show you how to make both today. So let's get started. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. If we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. Hey guys, I know this is a look and, um, you know, but it is what it is. I'm trying to protect my eyes and also not inhale too much dust today. So I do have my sander. It has a little pouch on the back, but the pouch thing that holds it on is broken. So I have it rubber banded on, but if that falls off, I'm going to zip tie it on. Okay. And today I'm going to be sanding this. And I'm going to be, it's going to hold my iron on vinyl and I'll hang it up. I'll paint it a little bit and hang it in my office. Um, probably going to stain it with Waverly Wax and Flooring Tape. I'm also going to be sanding these. These are the picket um, fences, picket fences, the fences, <laughs> the fence boards from my fence. Are these called pickets? I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to sand those because they're not smooth and I need them to be smoother in order to, um, paint so um and here's the garage work area not done yet not even close but i did get some stuff cleared out i know you can't tell but i did anyway let's get to sanding before we get too much further into my projects for today i wanted to mention that's part of the third thursday thrift flips open invite happens every third thursday of the month it's hosted by my sweet friends rusted chicks design and the rusted willow and this month's co-host is z9 designs be sure and check out the host and the playlist in the description box below. So to kick things off, I am just sanding down this little box with the little hangers. I'm not even sure what it originally was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I bought it at Hobby Lobby on like mega clearance or something. Maybe I got it at a thrift store. I don't even remember really, to be honest, but I'm just giving it a good sanding all over. So the rubber band has held on pretty nicely and I couldn't sand in some of the areas that I needed to sand, but that's okay. I can just use my little finger sander and get to the rest that's not smooth. And here are the fence boards that I have. We had a fence installed several years back or replaced in the back. Anyway, we had some leftover fencing material. The guys were going to take it. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm a DIY crafter. You must leave that for future projects. But because the boards are so rough and they're not smooth at all, I'm giving them a sanding all over and trying to make them as smooth as possible. Wow, I look a little hot. My nose is red. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm done with the sanding for now. And I'm going to go take the pieces inside and start prepping them for painting and stuff. As I mentioned, those areas that I couldn't really get with the sander, I'm just going in with my finger sander and making sure that it is smooth. And then I'm taking my favorite <laughs> Waverly Wax in the color Antique and I am painting it on. And I'm going to take that little damp scrap piece of cloth that you see there and I'm going to wipe off the excess. Y'all, this is all I'm doing. I, and I didn't mind the color that it had on it, but I just kind of wanted it a little bit, I wanted, I guess I wanted it brown. And this is how it turned out. I'm telling y'all, it's so easy. I use it to store my iron on vinyl and just so I have it handy in my office. And I think it turned out pretty cute. And I like the color a lot better than the kind of washed out gray color it was. This is how the project is looking so far. So I had these three, well I have more, but these are three fence boards. And I took a stake that I had and I cut it down and I just attached it on one end and I attached it on this end and I used screws to do it. And the boards are not, <laughs> they're not like perfectly straight or anything. So we're gonna deal with that. When I flip it over to do the reverse sign, we've got that plus this center board is like higher, there's a gap, you know, dealing with all that, but it's gonna be fine. So now I need to do some painting and staining. I'm going to be painting the top portion and the bottom portion with Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultramat paint in the color linen. And I am trying to give it a good coat, but not necessarily go too heavy handed with it, if that even makes sense. And this is why I had to make the board smoother because painting this would have just torn up the brushes. And so we don't need that to happen. 
and as you can see i added those three screws to put in that little stake across there to hold everything together and there are gaps and this will come into play in just a moment but i'll show you how i work around it now i did cut out this stencil using my cricut and i used paper transfer tape just so it wouldn't pull up any paint but if you don't have a cricut you could you could hand draw this on it's not really that hard of a shape. Maybe you can make like a template out of cardboard or something and kind of, you know, draw that on. But I'm going to be using this as a stencil. So I'm going over all of this with that Rosolium Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color linen again. And so that's going to be like kind of reinforcing my base. And now I'm taking Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Maze. And I'm using a sponge brush that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just kind of bouncing up and down with it. I guess stippling it and I'm just trying to be extra careful like I said you could recreate this without having a Cricut and it would it would take a little bit more work but it could be done and this turns out so cute though y'all I'm just excited I'm really really loving this maize color I just it, I just think it's just the prettiest yellow for the middle section I'm using Waverly Wax in the color Antique and I'm just painting it on with a paintbrush. And I'm going to come back in just a moment here and wipe off the excess with a damp scrap piece of cloth. That's just my preferred way of doing it. I know some people use baby wipes. And, you know, you could even, it doesn't, the, the piece of cloth that you use to wipe it off doesn't have to be wet. But that's just what I do. Because I think it helps it dry a little bit faster. And now it's time to pull back that stencil. And... It comes up pretty easy. I did use permanent vinyl, but it comes up pretty easy and it just leaves just the cutest little honeycomb pattern there. I love it. I love how it's turning out so far. I did decide to paint the little board that goes across. I could have stained it with the Waverly Wax, but I decided to paint it black. I just wanted the contrast and, and kind of a little bit different pop of color there. Oh, and <laughs> I guess I put both sides of the reveal of me pulling back the stencil but um, again this is just a stencil that I cut out using my Cricut and um, this is kind of how the honeycomb pattern is coming out all right here's where I kind of mess up but it actually is going to work out in the end so I did not let the middle section that I stained with the Waverly Wax and the color antique I did not let that dry completely and y'all this vinyl is not sticking at all to the board and it, it's just coming up like as if it doesn't have any stickiness to it at all so this ends up being fine because i need to redo it anyway and i'll show you why in just a second but yeah it just wasn't sticking at all i was trying to put down the letters and it wasn't receiving what i was trying to put down so this is how it turned out and i do absolutely adore it I think it turned out great, but the hello part, those letters need to be smaller and spaced a little bit more. And, um, oh, there's my welcome sign on the right hand side. But anyways, so the, the hello, the, the H E L L O that needs to be a little bit smaller letters and spaced out a little bit more so you can read it easier. So I'm kind of thankful that it didn't stay stuck, but when I had walked back, one of the letters had completely fallen off, so I had to stick it back up there. But see, it just like lifts up so easy. And I guess maybe I could try to Mod Podge it down, but I really do want to make smaller letters. So in the end, my sort of fail is going to turn out fine. I just think it looks cute, y'all. I just think it looks adorable, and I can't wait till I fix it. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate the company while I craft and create, and I hope you enjoy the projects that I shared today. And if you got any inspo from them, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to follow me on social, social, social media, social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, my handle is our gray house, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.